All right, are we streaming? Still. Yin yang. Wait, what am I gonna say? I think we are streaming, it looks like it. All right, hi everyone, my name is Jacqueline. And I'm Cyan. And I'm Sage. <laughs> and we're here with episode two of Make Code in the Kitchen, where we're gonna be making and coding some fun activities that you can do with your kids while you're stuck at home due to the coronavirus. So last week in episode one, what did we make, you guys? We made paintings. That's right. We made these cool electronic paintings, and you can see an example of one that Cyan made here. And um, and today, what are we gonna make? Um, we're gonna make magic, magic wands. wands. That's right. We're gonna make some DIY magic wands with the Circuit Playground Express. Now, in this house, we are big fans of Harry Potter. So, um, can you guys tell me what um, what house you're from? Um, I'm at Hogwarts. I'm Gryffindor. And I'm Slytherin. That's right. I mean Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Almost Slytherin. Sometimes Slytherin. So, um, so yeah, so we're super excited to be making these magic wands. Um, and we're going to be making these wands with um, that can activate certain spells. Can you guys give me an example of some uh, spells that, um, that are from Harry Potter? Um, Lumos. Lumos, that's right. Um, Lumos. Alohomora and Expelliarmus. Expelliarmus, that's right. Alohomora. Yeah. So let's get started. So first of all, um, we're going to make these out of the Circuit Playground Express. Um, now, Cyan, can you tell us what the Circuit Playground Express is? It's a mini computer. That's right. It is a mini computer. It's um, technically a microcontroller device. Um, and what are, the, what are some of the components that are on this? Um, um, there's button A and B. There's lights. There's sen sensors, there's an accelerometer. Mm-hmm, Sage, <laughs> do, you, do you know anything else that's on it? Well, I was gonna say the same thing as I am. Yeah, what, what makes it make sound, Sage? Oh, what makes it make sound? Um, it's got this little buzzer, a little speaker on it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna use that today, as well as the lights to make our magic wands so that when we shake them, they light up and um, also make a sound. So can you guys um, show me some examples of these wands that you've made? Okay, so mine is the physic wand. Mm. And I, prog I programmed it so that it would make, it would make an animation that's called <clears throat> uh, Comet, mm -hmm. I think. And when I tilt it down, it makes a sound. Um, plays power up, and um, and it lights up white. Mm -hmm. And this is an example of a wand that Andrea made, right? This is yeah. This is Voldemort's wand. I think the it's dark the dark wand. The dark wand. That's right. So when you shake it, oh dear, makes a a sound. So to get started, what do we need? What are the materials we need for this project? Um, okay. So you'll need string if you want. Mm -hmm. But what's the main thing? Sticks um, and, of yeah. course, you need like these wooden craft sticks, which you can get at craft store. Uh, you can also get paint stirs at like Home Depot um, to use as the basis for your wand. Um, you also will need some duct tape um, and then some colored markers here. Or paint. Um, or you paint. Could use, or paint you could use. Yeah. You can also use um, like um, markers to color it in. That's right. Uh, you can use uh, gems. Yes, that's right. So we've got some gems and like some googly eyes too. And some, you can also use glitter and feathers if you want. Glitter and feathers to decorate. And ribbons, as Cyan mentioned before, you can see her wand has got a lot of these ribbons hanging off of it too. So. Oh, and you can also use tube cleaners. Oh right, pipe cleaners right behind you, Sage. So you can use some pipe cleaners too if you want. Anything you can get your hands on, really, to decorate these wands. So, step number one, you need to color in your wand. 
Now, before you go ahead and start coloring your wand, I would suggest that you plan out what kind of magic you want your wand to have, right? Yeah. Because different wand materials have different properties, right? Can you guys give me some examples of some wand um, materials or different woods um, or the different cores? So there's unicorn hair, there's right. um, dragon heart string, mm -hmm. and there's phoenix feather. Yep. Which and do the these core. have any specific properties? Um, uh, like is one for protection or is one for like dark magic? Uh, yeah, there's different wands for different purposes. That's right. So think carefully about what kind of wand you want to make first. So to color in your wand, again, you can use just colored markers or you can use paint uh, depending on what you would like. Um, and then the second thing you need to do once you've colored it in before you decorate is actually um, attach your Circuit Playground Express. Now, the Circuit Playground Express comes in this kit. It's a base kit. And inside this kit, you'll have batteries, um, you'll have a battery pack, um, as well as the board and a USB cable. So you'll have all of these things inside here. So the first thing you want to do is take your Circuit Playground Express and you'll want a piece of tape. So here I've just got some nice colored duct tape here. So I'm just going to cut off a piece of tape here and loop your tape around so that it creates like a double-sided piece of sticky tape, just like that. Um, and then you're going to want to attach it to the tip of your board right here, right like that. And then um, just go ahead and stick your Circuit Playground Express on the tip of your board. I like to have the battery pack, which is this uh, the battery port facing down. So this is the black little port right here, uh, just so I can attach my battery cable that way. But Cyan put hers to the side here, so you can see. Um, so it's up to you. So once you've attached your Circuit Playground Express to your magic wand, then you'll want to attach the battery pack and also insert the batteries. Cyan, can you explain how to insert the batteries here? All right. So basically, you can. So ah, I'm just trying to reattach this thing. Um. So the <clears throat> the battery thing you can slide off like that um, towards the cable. And then the batteries go in <clears throat> negative, so there's a minus, that little minus on the batteries that stands for negative, <clears throat> and, they're, and they match up with the negatives, and there's a negative in here. You can also tell because the springs are always on the negatives. That's right. So go ahead and insert all three batteries into your battery pack. Um, and then go and then reattach the back of the battery pack. Um, one thing to note, some of your battery packs may have this little clip on the outside. Um, I would suggest just pulling it off. It, it's not going to help us for our magic wand. So go ahead and just pull off that clip. Okay. And then, yep, you're going to want to attach the battery pack onto your Circuit Playground Express. Now, to insert this, Sage, you want to show us how oh, to yeah. insert um, the battery pack? So, um, in here. so how you do it is just simply slide it in. Mm -hmm. um, it goes in one particular way, so right, you need to make yeah. sure the groove is on the facing up. So like this groove? Yeah. The groove. So like this is like like this tiny thing is like on the top of it like right. so you can see it yeah exactly go ahead and, and just slide it in simply mm -hmm. you gotta have delicate fingers let me hold the pack for you might make it easier yeah other way sweetheart oh yeah There you go. All right, so once it's in, then you're gonna wanna attach your battery pack onto the back of your wand, just like this. Um, and then take some 
another piece of duct tape or um, regular tape, depending on what you have, um, and then just wrap a piece of tape around your battery pack. Um, be careful not to tape over the on-off switch on your battery pack. So there you go. And then from here, you can decorate your wand, like I said, with um, glitter or with jewels or ribbons or pipe cleaners, um, whatever you prefer. You can see Sage has um, feathers on his. So, um, so then I think we're pretty much done with the making part, right? Did I miss anything? Um, oh, what about the shaking? Yeah, we're gonna code next, right? You guys ready to code? Okay, so let's go ahead and switch screens here. So now, um, can you see my see screen? My screen? Not, Not yet. yet. Oh dear, oh dear. I call this one a redo. Okay. So let's go ahead and switch screens here. Okay, we're good now, it looks like. Okay, so um, right now you can see the Make Code uh, website, Make Code. Okay, scooch forward. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so just go to makecode.com and you'll get to our website. And then what do you do, Cyan? And then you press the Circuit Playground Express. It looks like the thing you put on your wand. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And that will open up the browser. Yep. You click new project. Actually, no, we're going to do a tutorial. So we mm -hmm. go down and yeah. magic wand. Magic wand tutorial. So go ahead and click start tutorial. All right. And um, let's go ahead and follow these instructions. Let's see. Let's get started by making something magical. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is um, find a show animation block. So do you know where that is? So it's blue, so it's mm -hmm. going, going to be in the blue thing. That's right. So it looks like show animation is right here. Yep. So I'm so going to pull that put out. it into my forever. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> click next. I'm going to click next. All right. So now it says to to put an on shake button. Before we move to that, let's talk about the show animation really quickly. Now, what does this do? That changes your animation. Okay. So right now, this is <clears throat> this is what it's this is what it's gonna be. Okay. But if I change it to like Running Man. Oh, okay. Then it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna show gonna, a different animation. Yeah. Here? Okay. See, it's loading. Okay. And what, so you had the comment animation on yours? Yep. Okay. Nice. So we can go ahead and just select any animation that we want to play, right? Yep. All right, so then the on shake block, what's this? On shake is a command, just like forever. Okay. And so I noticed that this block kind of has an open and closed part, so it's like a mouth, right? Yeah. Um, and so that means it's an event. So what's, what, what is an event? An event is basically something that happens. Right, it's just like an occurrence, Yeah. right? Um, and then these events trigger actions. So whatever code we put in here will happen on an on shake. Can you give me an example of an event and an action in real life? All right. <clears throat> so if you have a party, then it's, oh, okay. then it's gonna make someone else then it's going to make your, it's going to make you happy because it's I a party. See. Okay, yeah. So the party is the event and being happy is the action. Yeah. Okay, I like it. So yeah, so in this case, whatever code we put in this on shake block will happen whenever we shake our circuit playground, right? Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on the next. What does it say to do? Now we're going to drag out another show animation. Okay and put it into the on shake. Oh, okay. So, let's see, change the animation to sparkle. Okay. So, we're gonna go still over here, mm -hmm. and we're gonna click sparkle. Okay, and we wanna change the duration here too, right? So, yeah. um, the this, um, what does 500 mean? 500 is 
you can see here it's 500 milliseconds. Oh, milliseconds, okay. So, we want to change it to one second, okay. which is going to be like a thousand milliseconds, I think. Oh, okay. Cool, yeah, a thousand milliseconds. Okay, so it's going to show that animation, that sparkle animation for one second. Okay, so next. Uh, oh, play sound. We're going to put a play sound block, which is going to be in music. Okay. <clears throat> Inside our on shake. Okay. Let's put it just before the show animation block, it says. Okay. And then we can play. What kind of sounds do we have to play? So there's ba-ding. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to shake it. Okay. I'm going to press the shake button. In our simulator. Okay. So that's ba-ding. Okay. And then there's wah, wah, wah. Oh dear. Okay, that's. There's um, jump up. Jump up. Oh, that sounds promising. We gotta wait for it to load. Yep. Oh, that's nice. And then there's jump down, which I bet is gonna be. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Okay. Oh, look, there's a magic wand one there. Should we pick that one? Yeah, probably. Okay. Since it is a magic wand. It is a magic wand. That's correct. Nice! I like that sound. Okay, so let's keep that. And then you want to click next? Okay. Next. Okay, we already did this. Change the sound effect. Right. And then transfer your code to the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express. Okay. So can you tell me how we how we can do this? Alright. So in in your uh in your kit. In your kit, there is a, a USB, cable. USB cable. And if you see on the other side of mm -hmm. the place where you put, plug the battery in, mm -hmm. there's a white thing that's in the shape of the USB cable. You're going to plug it, you're going to plug the cord in to mm -hmm. your micro bit and plug it into the computer. Okay, plug this, the big part of the USB into the computer. When you do that, what should happen? It, all the lights, lights on, on the circuit, circuit playground, playground should, should turn, turn green. green. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll, you'll see, see it be, um, come up in your computer, computer is C-Play play boot drive here. Um, but uh, if, if it, it doesn't, doesn't automatically all turn green and, and um, turn, turn into, into a drive, drive on your computer, computer what, what should you do, Simon? You, you press the reset button. button. Until, Until it turns green. Yeah, yeah, where's, where's the, the reset, reset button? button? The reset button is the tiny button, button in the middle of the... Right, right in the middle, middle of the board. board. Yeah. yeah. We just, just press, press and release. Until all the lights turn green. Okay. okay. Great. Great! And, and then, then now, now what do we do? do? Now we, we press, press download. download. Okay. okay. So, so we're, we're going to download our program, program onto the Circuit, Circuit Playground, Playground Express. Express. So this will, depending on what browser you have, this will just put this into your downloads folder, um, and, and then you can copy the file over from your downloads folder, or if you're like me and have it uh, prompt you for where to save this file, you can select the C Play Boot Drive, and then, and then click, click Save. And then, then oh, wow, wow, look what look just what happened. happened. It, just it just downloaded, downloaded it on now give, now give it a shake. All right. All right. Very, Very cool. cool. <laughs> Great, Great job, job Cyan. Cyan. All right. All right. So, so thanks, thanks so much, much for tuning in. in. Let's get back, back here. here. So you, so you want to say, say uh, uh, goodbye, goodbye to, everyone? to everyone? Yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks, thanks so, much so much for tuning, tuning in, in to our Circuit Playground Round Express. Meet me in the kitchen series. Tune in next Friday. We'll be here at 2 o'clock as well. Um, what do you guys, do you guys want, want to make? Um, we don't know, we don't know what, what we want to make yet, yet. But, but whatever, whatever it is, it'll, it'll be something, something fun. fun. So thanks, so thanks so much. So much. Animals. Animals. Animals.